Greetings. My benefactor wishes to speak to you about a matter that could affect the fate of our world. If my benefactor wished to discuss details in the open, why send a messenger? The matter is for your ears only. My benefactor awaits nearby. Do not tarry. Whoa there. Are you all right? The name's Lyris. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. Dead. Must have been the runt of the litter. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. Moving. There are more Daedra on the way. Don't stop now. Keep moving. More guards are on the way. Let's get out of here, my friend. The Prophet. Greetings, Vestige. Like you, I am a prisoner in this place. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. Hold a moment. Come here. We need to talk. The Prophet. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. I've no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Bal left the Sentinels unguarded. I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. The past... The future? You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of Oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. A man named Menemarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. They sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Bal. After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. 
It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor, working under the lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. No, I wasn't sacrificed. The Prophet and I were brought here... conventionally, if that makes any sense. But we're prisoners here, same as you. It won't be easy. The place is watched by magical constructs called Sentinels. We won't stand a chance unless we can blind them. I'll tell you more when we get there. And we'll never get there if we don't get moving. We should keep moving. Well played, friend. Arcase Beard, you are good in a fight. A god of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry! The god of schemes can see every part of Cold Harbor. We need to distract him. your name again? Target practice? Try to be inconspicuous. We just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. I'll keep watch. Quickly, while he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. Fool! You will never escape my realm. Hermamora's wagging tongue. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. One fine day in the middle of the night, two dead kings got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their bows, and stabbed themselves. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. Sir Cadwell, yes indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you, then? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step. Hold your nose, and do mind the traps. There like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Follow the river. You'll find the door to the Undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the Prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you?
Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish-tosh, gallant knight, epic quests, rescued maidens. <laughs> I came to this land when my head was quite unceremoniously separated from my body. Bad luck, that, but uh, you make the best of things. Oh, quite a long time. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I was the oldest of the soul shriven. Of those who didn't go feral, that is. I know every tunnel and path, every nook and cranny. The others look up to me, I suppose. Ah, Lyris. Girls as mad as sheer gorus jammies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the Prophet to save us all from eternal torment. How an old blind man could do that is quite beyond me. An Imperial gentleman? Apparently he was once a powerful mage, but the years haven't been kind. Lyris says he knows of a path back to Tamriel. I rather think that if one existed, I'd have found it by now. I hadn't actually given him much thought. Uh, anything's possible, I suppose. Truth is, I've been here so long, this place feels like home. But a good uprising now and again is a pleasant diversion, so where's the harm, eh? Cadwell seems to think this Undercroft is a delightful place. Probably means it's a death trap. We better be careful. The sooner you get that door open, the sooner we can get out of here. been a fair fight if there were three of you the prophet's cage should be just ahead quickly now we haven't much time Good news is, we made it here in one piece, and the Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Believe me, I wish there was, but... I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molagbal isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. Freedom! I remember this feeling. It will be fitting, though, if Molog Bal has his way. Thank the Divines, you are safe. There is that, at least. Lyra sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. I wish that were possible. 
But I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it. Up the stairs, quickly! We must get to the anchor mooring! The mortal thinks it can defy me. Futile. Soon your world will be in my chains. Come, I will protect you. A moment, Vestal. Dark Angus portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nan in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nan. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the Sky Shard. Great Akatosh! Dragon God of Time, I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molag Bal be denied. Hurry! We must go now! The vestige awakens once again. Come here, we must speak. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a place with the smell of burning ash on a hot wind and the sounds of a distant battle. It matters not, you have awakened once again and we must set you on your path. Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Murlog Ball. I cannot foresee that, not yet, but we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Be wary, Vestige. 
Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molag Bal looms across all Tamriel, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. You must find your own path, but perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore, search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. Indeed, I sense that even now, there are good people near you who face grave danger. They need your assistance, should you be willing to give it. To thwart the will of Molag Bal, we must skirmish with evil wherever it rears its head. We do not face these troubled times alone. Many shall rise up to fight this tide of darkness. Wherever you go, you will encounter others who share your courage and valor. Help them if you can, and enlist their aid if you have need of it.